I've decided it's time for the planer. <laughs> this piece goes up there. I just took it off. So this thing is like, I don't know, 600 pounds or something total. So if I take it apart into three pieces, I can move it reasonably. Oh, you know, I could just carry this stupid thing up. I'm going to take this up to the lumber mill and use the lumber mill's power source to power it. Nice thing about being in the middle of floor construction, I've got tons of blocks of wood. All right, that seems to be in there pretty good. Cast iron is amazingly heavy. This is the top piece of this thing. The motor spins this, which spins three blades on the cutter wheel here. And I don't know if you can see, but these two wheels are turning that way as I do this. Of course, this goes super fast. So these two wheels slowly pull a piece of wood through as this planes it. And then this guy is the up and down riser. That other piece goes on top here. And uh, you turn this, which used to have a fancy crank that's just gone. And it turns all four screws that lift and raise, lift and lower this thing evenly because it does all four at the same time. And this is just a base. Uh, the motor goes there. I don't know what motor's going on it yet. Well, it says, where is it? All right, two horsepower originally. Well, let's see, 240 volts, 8.6 amps. Yeah, I'm probably gonna run it on 24 volts. Since everything I have is 24 volts, including my lumber mill right here, which has a nice big power supply. You know what? I think I'm gonna put this right on the clay. So it's got this bottom section here, which is already pretty beat up and rusted. And I can put it right on the clay right there. Right there, yeah. Oh yeah, this is the light piece. Yeah, Oh, thanks, man. Let's just move this guy out of the way. You don't want to be near me for this. Okay, you gotta back up. Um, not smash this gear. Oh, I get this on. Okay, it's going. Oh, okay. Done. <laughs> All right, if we just. Turn the thing and I'll lower it down nice and easy. And get it lined up. Okay, with these pieces of wood on the table, they're the same height on this side, on the other side, and left, right. So when we lower that down, it should lower this down right onto its things nice and even. Looking good. Yep. Don't put your fingers in there, dude. I won't. Yeah. I'll tell you when the tuck on here. Well, I'll know when it's done when it's done. this piece right here. 
Yeah. And then, if I keep going, these will be loose. Yeah, that's it. Beauty. Now you can take the pieces of wood out the other side. Should be pretty safe. This thing up here is kind of nice. What's that for? Well, I'm guessing it's so you can put a board on there and slide it wherever it wants to go. Oh. Well, that way or that way. So maybe you can put a piece of wood through here. And then you can pick it up from this end, put it up there, and slide it that way. I don't know. That would... I don't know what the point is, really. <laughs> Maybe that's what you do with it. But I'm just going to set it up so I get my wood, put it through here, and then just take it out. And I don't know. Well, don't put it there, because that's the wood I'm not using. And if I threw a match in there, that would go up like crazy. Nice muscles, dude. Oh, wait. Did I say it goes this way? It goes that way. Yeah. You can tell by the cutters. Yeah, it's sucked in there. <coughs> Off the other end. Hmm. So someone did a really crappy fix job on this over here, but it does seem to be basically working. I could probably run it a little bit like this. Oh god. Well this is doing nothing. Well, yeah, I'll have to fix this at some point. But let me just see if I can get the thing working at first. So I need a motor. What kind of motor do I want to put on here? Well two horsepower would be great, but let's see what I hey, you wanna see what happens if we just try to push it through by hand? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do it just a tiny bit. It's not fun to do it, right? No. Oh, I'm trying to pull it in now. It's going to pass. <sighs> Wait, keep going. I want to come on. It is doing it. That's <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's hitting it just to take out just a tiny bit, which is why it's... Check it out, smoothing out a little bit of that board. Nice! Alright, I think I've messed around enough to have a feel for this thing. Ah, 1000 watt motor. Should be fine, and I do have one of those. <laughs> and I even have a pretty perfect cover for the thing. Alright, let's go see what we can do about this motor situation. All right, I'm stealing the motor off my mud sucker machine because I used it for a little while, but I was like, it's just, it makes such a mess of my boat. It gets mud everywhere. And I ended up just jumping in the water with a bucket instead of using the thing. So I'm taking the motor off it. Now, while it was in service, this part got real rusty up here and it's like, it's pretty stiff. And before I put it on the mud sucker, I took the whole thing apart and cleaned it and oiled it. Oh, I'm going to do the same thing. And I will confess, I have no idea what I'm going to do for a pulley on this thing. One step at a time. Where did I put these right there? You know, last time I did this, I didn't get that piece totally out of here. And the magnets in here are a mess. These are the magnets. Oof. One of them even came out when I pulled that out. I have it over here, not near anything metal. <laughs> I have to glue it back in with, I don't know, I don't know what I have around here, something. These are neodymium magnets. They're very strong, which means it's kind of difficult to get all the little metal bits out of here because they stick magnetically. And my screwdriver sticks, too. Oh, I just sent a message to my neighbor, and I was like, Hey, do you have super glue or epoxy? And they were like, Yes! And you can have some! I gotta go get it. Oh, super glue. Okay. I got this all washed and scrubbalized and soaped so there's no grease. Same with this guy. Oh, I should be. 
And the tricky thing is it's these are really strong magnets, so it's hard to get it into position because it's gonna be pulling against the other magnets and trying to do all this stuff on its own. All right. You know what, I think I can get this in there and then put the glue on it so it's not so, you know, tricky to get it in there. Okay, come on. <laughs> Smash, okay. Make sure it's lined up with the other ones. Nice thing is once it's in there, it sticks. <laughs> All right, let's go. Cool. With any luck, gravity will let that glue go down between. All right, well, it's hardening. I was going to check my bearings. That one seems great. and Oh, the bearings are good. Excellent. You know what I just realized? My bulldozer here has a nice motor right down here that actually has the connector, if I remember correctly, it has the kind of connection that fits into this more easily than the, the faceplate connector of the other motor. <sighs> and I am planning to reconfigure this thing. So I'm going to take it all apart anyway. So I could switch the motor when I do that. So I might. Yeah, I'm thinking about taking this motor out. Alright, well that only took about half an hour to get out. I do think I want to use this motor. Mm, for a couple reasons. We'll get into that and I gotta put this one back together first. All right, take this, put it on here, and then slowly let it go in there because what happens here is those magnets are gonna pull on this super hard and thump. And if, the, if I let it just smash in there, something's gonna break. Okay, at this point, this piece is held up by the magnetism because otherwise then there's nothing else holding it up or fall down. Let's get nice and, nice and slow. Hmm. That's two blocks. We'll just slowly wiggle these ones out. Okay, that's it. Oh wow, that is a massive improvement. <sighs> you know, this may come down to the pulley I can either find or make. And which one of these it fits more easily. This is the end cap from a hydraulic cylinder. It goes on a thing like that and there's a push rod going through there. I just drilled this out a little bit. Make it a tiny bit bigger, and check this out. Fits. So that gives me some options. This feels a little silly, but... That was a good start. I hope. And I feel like these things are going to be super useful at some point in the future. My brain is saying a ratcheting one-way wheel kind of thing. These are the little... Anyway, I'll save these. Well, that's not a bad start. All right, can I actually cut at an angle with this? Yeah, I think it'll be all right.
Oh, that's actually cutting in here. Sweet. You know, if this wasn't stainless steel, I'd do it on my lathe over there. But I don't want to ruin a, a cutter on this. I'd rather go through a few of these. All right, this middle piece is getting wiggleable. So I'm going to cut it. I could cut another line down the middle, get this out, but I feel like giving my angle grinder a rest. If I make this go back and forth a bunch of times, it should pop out. <laughs> Man, that would have been cool to get that ring out in one piece. That is not bad. There's some little dents in there that I made with the screwdriver. Popping out that middle piece. I could take the angle grinder and get all those out, but I think they might help grip. Give it a bit more grip, so. I did cut a little keyway into this. It's not, you know, the right size or whatever, but I think I can just hammer something in there. Uh, that should do it. All right, if I measured that right, this thing should fit. You know, that shiny pulley down here does not match the rest of this thing. I just spent the last 20 minutes planing one board over and over. <laughs> this did start out really warped. Man, that is not warped anymore. Wow. 
Oh man, I better keep this under wraps. <clears throat> All my neighbors are going to be coming over here with their wood. Hey Jamie, can you plane 250 boards for me? Oh man, that is awesome. All solar powered too. <laughs> That's great. Man, too bad I don't have a hamster or something. Maybe I should get one. I got this thing for 150 bucks. And I totally could have bought a brand new planer for $150. But it would have been a little plastic piece of disposable crap. <sighs> I mean, I may be eating my words. <laughs> In the next few days but uh this thing seems to be doing good and it's pretty old like this was made when things were made to last it's all cast iron weighs a freaking ton but yeah i just ran it i don't know if i'm i probably just ran it for about an hour and no problems everything seems to be working great yeah i'm, I'm super happy with that i love stuff i love stuff from this era you know, the golden age of technology when things were made to last. Before we switched over to figuring out how to make them not last and fall apart just just as the warranty expires. Oh my god, why do we why oh once once the human race started putting effort into that, that was it. Whatever, I'm super happy with this. Whoa, that changes some things. Like I'm making this kayak blank for a mold and I'm using plywood because it's smooth but <laughs> I can make all of these smooth and all all those boards up there and over there smooth I can make all this stuff smooth I could have just made this with wood straight from the jungle <laughs>